Robinhood vs M1 Finance, which one is better for you? Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we're diving into the world of personal finance software comparing two heavyweights, which is Robinhood and M1 Finance. In this video, we're going to talk about Robinhood and M1 Finance in terms of their features comparison, pricing and fees, investment options, educational resources, security and regulation, pros and cons. And at the end of the video, I'll help you choose which one is best for you. So make sure to watch till the end because I upgraded a presentation that will help you easily make an informed decision to choose the correct option. And to create an account on Robinhood and M1 Finance, you could also use my affiliate links where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the links, you may also get some discounts or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Robinhood, it is a popular commission-free trading app that allows users to buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptocurrencies without paying traditional brokerage fees, in which it has gained significant traction for its user-friendly interface, accessibility to beginner investors, and its mission to democratize finance by making investing more accessible to everyone. While M1 Finance is a comprehensive personal finance platform that offers a combination of investing, borrowing, and spending services, it enables users to invest in stocks and ETFs with no commissions, utilize fractional shares for diversified portfolios, and automate their investment strategy through customizable pies. And now that we know the overview of both platform, we can now proceed by knowing other details about Robinhood and M1 Finance. So let's start by knowing the features comparison of both platform. And as you can see on this table in terms of investment options, Robinhood offers stocks, ETFs, options, cryptocurrency, while M1 Finance offers stocks, ETFs, fractional shares, pre-built portfolios. Now in terms of retirement accounts, Robinhood offer a retirement account which is traditional IRA, Roth IRA, and SEP IRA. While M1 Finance does not offer a retirement accounts. Now in terms of fractional shares, only M1 Finance offer fractional shares. Now in terms of automated investing, M1 Finance is the only one that offers automated investing. Now in terms of market data, Robinhood offer basic with premium subscription for advanced data, while M1 Finance offer also basic with premium subscription for additional data. And for educational resources, Robinhood offer limited, while M1 Finance offer moderate. And aside from that, they also offer a security features in which Robinhood offer two-factor authentication, FDIC insurance for cash balance, while M1 Finance offer two-factor authentication, FDIC insurance for cash balance. And now, for platform stability, Robinhood has experienced outages in the past, while M1 Finance is generally stable. Now, in terms of customer support, Robinhood offer email and in-app messaging, while M1 Finance offer email and in-app messaging phone support for M1+. Plus. Now, moving on in terms of pricing and fees, as you can see on this table in terms of account opening fee, both platform offer for free. Now, in terms of automated investing, Robinhood does not offer automated investing, while well, M1 Finance offer automated investing, which is M1 Plus subscription required for smart transfers. And for margin trading, Robinhood offer margin trading, which is Robinhood Gold subscription required. While well, M1 Finance also offer margin trading, which is M1 Plus subscription required. Now in terms of wire transfer fees, Robinhood offer $25 per outgoing domestic wire transfer. While well, M1 Finance offer $0 per incoming domestic wire transfers. Now moving on in terms of return ACH fee. Robinhood amounting to $30, while M1 Finance offer amounting to $30 as well. And in terms of premium services, Robinhood offer Robinhood Gold is starting at $5 per month, while M1 Finance offer M1 Plus is starting at $125 per year. Now moving on to investment options as you can see on this table in terms of stocks. Robinhood offers trading of individual stocks from major exchanges, while M1 Finance provides access to individual stocks from major exchanges. And now in terms of ETFs, Robinhood allows trading of exchange trade funds or ETFs which are investment funds traded on stock exchanges. While M1 Finance offers a selection of ETFs for investment allowing users to diversify their portfolio across different assets. And for options, Robinhood enables trading of options contracts providing users with the right to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price within a specified time frame. While M1 Finance does not support options trading focusing more on long-term investing strategies rather than speculative trading. And aside from that, in terms of cryptocurrencies, Robinhood provides access to various cryptocurrencies for trading, including popular options like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. While M1 Finance does not offer direct cryptocurrency trading. Now in terms of fractional shares, Robinhood does not support fractional shares investing, meaning users must buy whole shares of stocks or ETFs. While M1 Finance supports fractional shares investing, allowing users to purchase a fraction of shares 
making it easier to diversify with smaller amounts. Now moving on to educational resources. As you can see in here, in terms of articles and guides, Robinhood offers a variety of articles and guides covering topics such as investing basics, market trends, and company analysis, while M1 Finance provides educational articles and guides on investing principles, portfolio management, and market insights. And for video tutorials, Robinhood offers a video tutorials on its platform covering topics like understanding investing concept, while M1 Finance offers a video tutorial on investing strategies, portfolio building, and platform features. Now in terms of webinars and events, Robinhood occasionally hosts webinars and live events featuring industry of expert, while M1 Finance hosts webinars and live events covering topics like portfolio management, retirement, planning, and market updates. And aside from that, in terms of interactive tools, Robinhood provides interactive tools within the app to help users learn about investing. While M1 Finance offers interactive tools like the M1 Finance Plug, Financial Calculators, and Investment Research resources. And for community forums, Robinhood facilitates community forums and discussion boards within the app. While M1 Finance provides a community forum where users can interact, share investment strategies, and seek advice from fellow investors. Now moving on, in terms of security and regulation, you will see here in this table, in terms of regulatory compliance, Robinhood is registered broker dealer with a Security and Exchange Commission, or SEC, and a member of Financial Industry Regulatory Authority or FINRA, which is also seen in M1 Finance. Now in terms of account protection, Robinhood offers SIPC coverage up to $500,000, including up to $250,000 on cash for brokerage accounts, while M1 Finance also offers the same thing. Now in terms of data encryption, Robinhood uses encryption protocols to protect users' data and transactions, while M1 Finance utilizes encryption protocols and secure authentication methods to safeguard user information and transactions. Now moving on to pros and cons is starting to pros of Robinhood. It offers commission-free trading for stocks, option ETFs, and cryptocurrencies with an in deep mobile app and user-friendly interface and access to fractional shares and cryptocurrency trading. And it also offers cash management feature with Robinhood Cash Management. While the cons of using Robinhood is that it has limited investment options compared to traditional brokerage firms. And it lacks of advanced research tools and educational resources and experienced outages and technical issues in the past. Now moving on, to the pros and cons of using M1 Finance is starting to its pros. It offers fractional share investing allows for diversified portfolios with smaller amounts of capital. And it has automated investing features for hands-off portfolio management. And it also offers pre-built portfolios and expert advice for easy investment strategies. But the cons of using M1 Finance is that it has limited selection of investment options compared to full-service brokers and no support for options trading or cryptocurrency investments. And it also requires a learning curve for new users unfamiliar with the platform's Pi-based system. But the question is, who should choose Robinhood? Well, Robinhood is an ideal for traders who prioritize commission-free trading for stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptocurrencies. And for beginners who seek user-friendly mobile app with a simple and intuitive interface. And those individuals interested in margin trading and cash management features. And for those users who value real-time market data and customizable watch lists. But what about M1 Finance? Who should choose M1 Finance? Well, M1 Finance is ideal for those investors interested in fractional shares, investing to build diversified portfolios with smaller amounts of capital, and for those individuals seeking automated investing features for hands-off portfolio management, and those looking for pre-built portfolios and expert advice to simplify investment strategies, and for those users in need of integrated banking services through M1 Spend for cash management. And now, in conclusion, Robinhood and M1 Finance cater to different types of investors with distinct priorities and preferences. Robinhood appeals to traders seeking commission-free trading across various asset classes and slick a mobile interface, while M1 Finance offers a unique approach to investing with fractional shares, automated portfolio management, and integration with banking services. But ultimately, the choice between two platforms depends on individual investment goals, risk, tolerance, and desired features, with Robinhood suited for active traders and M1 Finance ideal for long-term investors, seeking simplicity and automation in their portfolios. So that is just a comparison review between Robinhood and M1 Finance. Thank you.